It doesn't matter what device you're using, an iPad, iPhone, Kindle Fire, or any other Android device, the Y-Drive app is the same across all of them, and securing your Y-Drive from unwanted users is no different. After you're connected to the Y-Drive, select the settings icon in the lower left-hand corner that looks like a gear, and then select Y-Drive settings. If security shows none, anyone with a wireless device can easily connect to your Y-Drive and access all the files on it, and even gain access to your network. So in order to protect your Y-Drive, it's best to use one of the security protocols that require a password to access the device. Any of these will work, but WPA or greater is recommended for increased security. Just select the protocol you wish to use and create a password. The device will reboot, and you'll need to reconnect to the Y-Drive, but this time, you will need to enter the password that you created just moments ago. And if for some reason you forget the Wi-Fi password or you can't connect, you can always reset the Y drive and start over. The reset button is next to the power button and all you need is a pen or a paper clip. Just press and hold down the reset button for about 5 seconds. This won't delete any data on the Y drive, but it will remove any settings like the network ID and password. But once you do connect, you can now feel safe knowing that your Y drive and all the files on it are safe and secure from unauthorized users. Plus, you can still access the Wi Fi network at the same time. If you have any other questions about the Y Drive, please contact kingston.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching.